Why don't modern DACs include Why don't modern DACs include crosstalk cancellation? Wow. That's an interesting question. It comes from Xavier in Madrid, Spain. I've been to Madrid. Kind of a, it was surprising to me. I thought it would be lively, a lively place. It seemed rather sedate. Maybe I just didn't go to the right places, but lovely town. Hey, hey Paul, when listening with headphones, the sound is left and right and inside your head without space image, but you have no crosstalk effect. Absolutely true. When you hear with crosstalk cancellation, you have a very wide sound image. When you listen to a binaural recording with headphones, you have a space sound image not inside your head. Could you explain this and, and as well uh, why new and modern DACs don't incorporate the crosstalk uh, cancellation? Let us have a beautiful sound image. Well, let's talk about that for a minute because um, I have quite a bit of experience actually with crosstalk elimination, having designed a, a and, and patented a speaker system that was called a, a sound projector. Uh, and we used crosstalk cancellation in that speaker and it had some wild results. I mean, we were able to bounce the sound off the wall and create this amazing image with basically one speaker that was pointed at the wall and you got, oh, it was like 360 degree surround sound. Amazing, but, but not all that practical and something I never really pursued. But there have been many attempts at doing that. You can buy commercial equipment. You have a knob where you can just, whoa, make the space uh, just, just huge. So let's, let, let's discuss what that is. So we know that when there is a stereo left and a stereo right, the other way around for you, um, <laughs> I can't read upside down or backwards either, that the, the, the left speaker sound will get into my right ear a little bit delayed from when it gets my left ear, right? So straight going in here, the shadow of my face, and then I'm going to, a little bit later, I'll hear it, the, the distance, the, the, the length it takes the sound to travel from the left ear to the right ear, right? As my, as my grandson Henry says, got it? Yep, I got it. Okay. And, and the same for the right, obviously. It hits here, then it goes over here. So, if we want to cancel that effect to get closer to what we have in headphones, where the right ear hears only what the right signal is and the left ear only what the left signal is, then we can do that by putting an opposite phase cancellation signal in the opposite speaker. So, a little bit of the right uh, sound, whatever is playing in the right speaker, will be presented in the left speaker but out of phase so that when it hits over here and the two meet, if you do the timing just right, it'll cancel what the left ear hears from the right speaker. And that can make for a very wide sound stage and it can sound pretty amazing. I would never recommend it for headphones because you don't have that problem and all you're really doing then is making an artificially wide sound stage, which is why I believe you don't see that in DACs because most high-end manufacturers, like us, prefer to have the, the true two-channel experience, which set up properly can be the entire width of the room and depth beyond the walls of the room, which is how we set up systems and how we make systems sound just, uh, oh, extraordinary. And, and I've talked about this before, that one of the things that we, we are so passionate about is the two-channel experience. We, as a modern society, are surrounded by screens Screen, screen, screens everywhere. Screens on your phone, screens on your watch, screens in your car, screens on the television, your work uh, in a store, you're bombarded with, with visual stimulation of screen, screen, screens, the movie theater, everywhere, right? And, and two-channel audio presents a magical experience of, of a three-dimensional audio only experience that is something you can't get anywhere else. And it's why we don't do surround sound. It's why we don't do 
video because we are dedicated to channel wackos. I mean, we, we truly believe in the experience that is unique and want to bring it to people's homes. It's why we don't make little fart speakers that can't reproduce two-channel audio properly. And if we're going to make a small one, we're going to do it in a way that's going to reproduce a, a real sound stage. It's why we've never done such a thing, because we don't know how to do it. But if we're going to do it, that's what we'll wind up doing, because we believe in our hearts strongly in the two-channel experience. So I think that's why we, you don't see that in, in DAX. It's, yeah, you could do it. I just don't know the value of doing it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should be open to something like that. There's, there's a great thing that I preach to everybody here, um, which, which is learn, leap, and repeat. Learn, leap, repeat. That's something that, that all of us can benefit from because the idea isn't to get better and better and better at doing the same thing over and over and over. It's to learn, to leap to something new, and repeat. And that's how we grow. So maybe it's worth thinking about. Maybe I need to learn and leap and repeat myself. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. And um, let's look forward to talking tomorrow. <laughs>